Hi, it's Penny at Pinehurst, and today I have Vicki here to help me because we're going to talk about insects in your houseplants, and it's a huge range of things, and between the two of us, Vicki has a lot of knowledge, and I'm learning every day, but I do have some knowledge, so we're going to kind of talk about houseplants, the insects that get into them. One of the things that I do know a lot about because I deal with it a lot is fungus gnats in your houseplants, and we have people coming in every day. At first they think they have fruit flies flying through their house and then they come to the conclusion that they don't have any fruit and these flies are attacking their plants, but they're really not attacking their plant, they're attacking the soil. And so what we recommend is the triple action, it's an insecticide, a fungicide, and a miticide. And what you do with this is you spray the, spray the soil and the flies come in contact with it when they fly in and out you will have to reapply because the female fungus gnat lays eggs and they're always reproducing um, coming up so in about two weeks after your first application spray your soil again and when those flies come in contact with that it's going to kill them and then vicky's going to talk a little bit about spider mites in your house plant you know spider mites a problem because um, they get on plants where the air is dry and they usually are on the underside of the plant. You can't see them because they're so tiny you need a magnifying glass. But what you might notice is a web there. And also you'll notice that your, the leaf is discolored. It's kind of gray because they're sucking all the moisture out and all the stuff out of the leaf. The best thing you can do for these is to wash the plants. If you could take your plant to the sink, if it's a small plant, turn it upside down, use your sprayer nozzle and spray the underside of the leaves and just clean them off really good. And do that, you know, maybe once a week for a while or once every two weeks. If it's a bigger plant, take it to the bathroom and put it in the bathtub or in the shower and um, try that with it. But if you can wash it off, that's really good. The triple action has a miticide in it, so that will help protect them. Um, and, but the mites are on the underside of the leaves, remember, so spray the undersides. Another problem is mealybug, and when you get that on your plant, it looks like a little white tuft of cotton, but it's actually the bug, and it's encased itself, and they're, it's hard to get rid of, but if you notice it in, every, in your plant, you want to take a Q-tip dipped in alcohol, rub down the plant, kind of try to remove that substance that's on the plant, it's actually the bug. Um, keep an eye on that because there's little tiny baby ones that you might not get. So like in a week or so, if you look again and there's more little tufts of white, it looks like cotton almost, but it goes all the way down the stem. That is a good indication. So always keep an eye on your plants, make sure that they're healthy. One way is to continue to fertilize. Plants tend to not attack a really healthy plant. So that's another reason to keep fertilizing your plants. Um, the systemic right here is a great thing. You put that in your soil and it, this one lasts up to two months and the systemic gets into the root system and that creates a chemical that the plants will stay away from your plant because it has a systemic in it and that will keep that type of bug away from your plant. Um, scale is another thing that gets on your plant and it also is encased itself in a hard, um, what would you call that? It's just a shell. It's got a shell on it. And, and so it's, it's encased in that and so like spraying it doesn't do any good because you're just hitting the shell that the, um, the insect has encased itself in. That's another thing you can keep, you can wipe it off, you know, keep that off of there. But again, the systemic works good for that that's also. A, that's really good for both of those. You know, and aphids are not usually a big problem in the house, but you could get them. And what they do is they attack the new growth, kind of on the tender new growth, and you can see them on there they're really pretty to take care of. Um, your triple action will work good for that. If you use a systemic, you wouldn't get them in the first place. Um, but I think, um, I think we've talked about the bugs that we usually have. But, you know, another thing too is if you've got white fly, it's bad. It's hard to, really hard to get rid of that. Or mealy bug. If you have that on a plant, I would isolate that plant away from your other plants and keep them, keep them away. From one another. 
Um, another thing that we carry here that doesn't deal with the insects, but people always say that their plants get dirty and dusty. Um, this leaf shine is the best thing ever. It like dusts your plants, it just dissolves, keeps them nice and shiny and pretty. So we also have the leaf shine here, fertilizer. And you know, if you have more questions, you can go to our floral and greenhouse website. It, we've got a great list of all the bugs and it shows pictures. And so that might even be a little bit better than you kind of know what you're talking about when you see that on your plant. And we have an email coming out that has this too. If you aren't getting our emails, be sure and get signed up for those. Thanks for watching.